What's up? Hello, it's Mikey McGuire. I hope you're keeping well. So this is episode one of the five minute masterclass. Look, the idea behind this podcast is to give you actionable stuff that you can go off and execute straight away in your music career, whether that's your DJ career, your production career, whether that's setting up a brand, running your own events, all of the stuff that kind of hovers around you as a person in music. We have so many different options that we can do these days. And I don't want you to have to spend years sitting in front of a screen learning all this stuff. So we're going to make them short snippets. Each podcast is just boom, straight in with a golden nugget of information that you can take and you can execute straight away. Some of these will be five minutes. Naturally, I will warble on as I can do sometimes. And these will go over. I'll also use snippets from some of my paid coaching programs and those could be those could be much longer. But if we use them, they'll be valuable. I'm not gonna do this podcast forever. This isn't designed to be done forever. What I wanna do is spill a whole lot of information into however many podcasts it takes to condense that information. It could be 100, it could be 200, it could be 50. And then I'm just gonna leave it as a, a database for DJs to hop in and to be able to access this information for free. For the first couple of podcasts, we are going to, we're gonna hone in on bookings. I think bookings are the fuel in every artist's fire. Um, am I recording? Yes, I am recording. <laughs> Uh, bookings are the fuel on every artist's fire and a lot of emerging artists it seems to kind of it just go over their heads as to how they're going to book gigs I hear so many artists say oh I need to get a booking agent like we speak to thousands of DJs when it comes to enrollment in our coaching programs because we're really fussy about who we bring in so we kind of vet everybody in conversations and one of the big things that keeps coming up when we say so what do you think you need next a booking agent, a manager. And this will quite often be from DJs that have no bookings and aren't doing anything of value. And they think, hey, a booking agent is going to swoop in and magically they're going to be Martin Garrix. They're going to be playing seven nights a week. They're going to be getting more money than they've ever gotten before. And that's not the way it works. You need to build your own traction first. You need to build your own momentum. You need to get yourself from A to D and then if D is busy enough, if D has enough hype, if D is making you enough money, well then a, a booking agent might be able to swoop in and take you from D to wherever the fuck else in the alphabet you both need to go together. But a booking agent isn't going to pick up a DJ with no momentum, no traction and nothing going on. It's just not the way it works. Promoters, promoters also aren't going to swoop through your front window, smash the thing down and land in your sitting room going, ta-da, I have a gig for you. Nobody's smashing down your sitting room with gigs. Yet so many DJs are sitting there and they're not reaching out. They're not pitching. They're not, they're not hustling for gigs. It's seen it's by some to be sleazy. It's seen to be needy. <laughs> it's what you have to do. I often equate it to, uh, it, there used to be an old ad on the National Lottery in the UK where a giant hand used to hover outside uh, a window or in front of a couple walking down the street and it would be like, it's you. And the person would be like, ah, hey, I won the lotto. And loads of DJs are like that. They're just waiting for that big hand to hover going, it's you, there's finally a booking here. This isn't the way it works. You might, you might pick up the odd offer here and there, but you need to be pitching. There's three main elements that I have broken down that we run through in our coaching program, and I'm gonna run up through them over the next couple of episodes. First off, most importantly, you need to have connections. You need to have relationships. It's a relationships game. If you tomorrow were friends with 100 club owners and festival owners that played exactly your sound, would you be ever stuck for a gig? No, of course you wouldn't. You would have infinite gigs. You would never be stuck for a gig again. Nothing would change from a DJ perspective. You'd be the same DJ, but you would have, you would have nonstop gigs because you would have fixed the relationships problem. So the number one thing you want to sort is relationships, okay? How to do that, we can discuss in a later, a later podcast. Secondly, you want to fix your pitching, your deal-making process. Most DJs are just in the DMs going, can I have a gig? 
which is the least inviting pitch ever. And it, it, it's like asking you to get married on the first day. Rushing into the bar. Hey, want to get married? No, slow down. <laughs> like, let's do a little bit of nurture. Let the promoter get to know you. Let them see the value in you. Let them listen to your music. Let them see that you're legit. Let you rise above all the other DJs rather than being in a, a, a DM inbox with another 100 DJs all asking the same pitch. Hey, can I have a gig? So we want to fix your pitching process. We want it to be as valuable for the promoter as it is for you. And we want to do it with a partnership mindset. We want to reach out in a way that they want to work with you. And then we want to reach out in a way that we have a follow-up process where we're going to take all the no's we get and then turn them into another pitch, which may be no's again. Maybe one or two might be yeses and we'll take those bookings and then we'll re-pitch. So, we want to learn that when we get a no from a promoter, it's not a no forever, it's just a no right now. It's not rejection. You're not being rejected. They just didn't have a slot for you. It just wasn't the right time. And so we pitch again. We follow up again. And we do it in a nice way. Not too cl close apart, so you become annoying. We don't want to be annoying. We want them to like us more every single time we, 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 we follow up. As years go on. I, I've done this for three, four, five years. The Elro stuff we did took four years to get across the line. So that's the next bit. After you've got the relationships, you want to be able to close the deals, follow up, pitch them in the proper way, a way that gets them to like you, want to work with you, and gets them converting over time. And then the third thing you want to do is you want to get your, your, your socials right, your content right. You don't need a million followers. I'm not of that camp. You're not Michael Carolla. You're not David Guetta. You're not expected to have... 60 million followers. They book the big acts for that. You're an emerging artist. You can have fuck all followers, zero followers. That's fine. But you are expected to have good content. You are expected to be able to showcase yourself. You are expected to have passion for your music. You are expected to have passion for the culture around you and what you do. And you're expected to be artistic. You're an artist. You're a DJ. You're a producer. So you're be able, you should be able to showcase this. And if you're just showing me flyers and buy this B-Port track and putting me to sleep with absolute samey, same content that every other Timmy from Tech House up in Swindon is pushing out, then you're not standing out at all. So we want to put out good content. doesn't need to be lots of followers. So that when we reach out to all of these new promoters and build connections and they check us out, they're seeing somebody that they want to book. Now, when we put those three together, the right connections, the right pitch, and then we're backing it up with showing who we are as an artist so all of these new connections can, can get the sum of us properly and if they want to work with us or not. Then we start to book consistent gigs. And when we rinse this system consistently, it all starts to work. I'm at eight minutes and four. So already the five-minute masterclass. I, d I tried these before. I tried these uh, a couple of years ago. And I can never do it in five minutes then either. Okay, that is the first episode of 5-Minute Masterclass. In tomorrow's episode, we're going to start deep diving into this system. We're going to look at specifically how to start building these connections, how to start finding them, and all that good stuff. See you in the next episode. Hey, thanks for watching my video. If you've made it this far, please do me a favor. Like, subscribe, so you can get all the, the future content. And let me know in the comments what you thought of this video. But, more importantly... If you're a DJ that wants to get more bookings, if you want to lock in better clubs, better festivals, and more of them, I want to give you the system that we use to do this with DJs. I want to give you the full blueprint, uh, all the training to run you through it, and any of the, the tools and, uh, and templates that you need. There's a link in the description down below where you can go and get it now for free. Uh, go help yourself. Let me help you. Let's get you booked together. The link is below. Uh, did I mention like and subscribe? Like and subscribe. <laughs> Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon. Cheers. Bye-bye.